like your circumstances, change them. Uh, if you don't like your circumstances, change them. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, hey guys, what's up? How's it going? Sorry, it's been a while. I've been dealing with my own personal stuff. <laughs> now, as you know, this channel is dedicated to providing you with sensible, cost-effective workouts to help you look your best. But today, I wanna to try something a little bit different. Today, I wanna to talk about feelings. Now hold on, wait a minute, slow down, whoa. Before you cut that video, just know that your feelings are more integral to getting your dream body than any pre-workout, post-workout, or BCAAs ever could be. Now, do I have your attention? Huh, good, because it's a crowded one out there today and it's time for us to work in. Let's face it guys, in life, there's always gonna be struggle. And sometimes it's hard to keep going. I mean, how are you supposed to finish that last set of crossback lunges when your medical bills are putting you in the red and you haven't even paid rent yet? How are you supposed to hold that plank for another 30 seconds? when those last five to 10 pounds just won't come off no matter what you do. And lastly, how are you supposed to get up for that 6 a.m. run when the girl that you're in love with says she doesn't see you as a long-term option? And then on her Instagram story, you see her on a date with some chump who looks like he's never seen the inside of a gym. <laughs> and he's not even like a nice guy. You know, like, believe it or not, these are all issues I've gone through in my own personal life. How do I deal with them? The beach is always a good option. Think of it as a foam roller for your soul. But, not everyone has a beach, and while catching some high quality rays can feel good, it's not getting to the root of the problem. But I'll tell you what, if I don't find shade soon, I'm gonna be more baked than I was last year on 420. <laughs> wow, that's better. Oh, I hope you guys don't mind. That sun has got me famished. You know guys, when I first started working in, there were a lot of haters out there. They'd say things like, you know, this guy talks like a douche, or stop talking like a robot, you douche, or the only thing that's douchier than the way this guy talks is my girlfriend's douchebag. I'll be honest, guys. These comments really hurt my feelings because it's hard for me to be natural on camera, but, I realize, no matter how bad I wished these comments would disappear, these haters weren't going anywhere. And it was on me to change myself. Okay, that should be done. Mmm. Okay, 
Now that's what I call a protein powerhouse. I'm gonna chow down. You guys, meet me in my room. It's just like, if you don't wanna be with me, then stop texting me at 3 a.m. so that you can get an ego boost and feel good about yourself. Yeah, you know what? I will go make another workout video. And one day, you're gonna regret that you never gave me a chance. Because you got a lot of guys that are into you, but I'm not just another guy. Like, I'm special. I, I would have treated you... I actually loved you, and I would have treated you better than any guy ever would have treated you. What? Oh. Uh. Wow. That burrito really hit the spot. We all love when you crush a set of preacher curls and you've got such an intense pump that it's like your biceps are about to burst through your skin. But you know what feels even better than an inflated arms? An inflated spirit. That's why for the first time ever, I'm giving you T-Mart's three keys for a spiritual pump. Key number one, be indestructible. In today's world, a lot of people will try to tear you down. Don't let them. Because even when you don't feel like it, you have greatness inside of you. When they make fun of your vision, just remember, big dreams scare small minds. Key number two. Be true to yourself. At the end of the day, the only person you have to answer to is yourself. If you go through life hunting for likes on social media or in the real world, you're going to compromise yourself and hide the parts of your personality that make you, you. Don't sell out. Do what you believe in. And when it's all said and done, you will like the person you see in the mirror. Key number three. <laughs> Have fun. This one may sound weird, but it's probably the most important. It's so easy to get caught up in the chase. Chasing money, chasing fame, chasing success, chasing validation, chasing love. Sometimes we forget to stop and take a moment to enjoy ourselves. So next time you're thinking about somewhere you'd rather be or someone you'd rather be with, stop, look around you, and smile. We go through life trying to get to a certain place or accomplish a certain thing so that we can feel a certain feeling. Maybe we should just focus on feeling the feeling no matter what place we're in. <laughs> huh. Can you say carb crash? I think it's time for me to hit the hay. Thanks for sticking with me through today's episode, guys. I know the subject matter was a little heavier than what you're used to. Um, but 
don't worry, next week we're going to get back to our usual programming because I'm going to give you guys a shoulder workout that would make Dwayne Johnson call for mommy. Um, in the meantime, don't forget to pick up my book, The Heaviest Weight, uh, How My Life Got Totally Jacked. It's a true story written by me. That's a picture of me. Um, the sales have been pretty slow out the gate. Unfortunately, but if you go on Amazon right now, the link is in my description. You can order it. There's a paperback version. Uh, we're still working on the audible version. Uh, it's narrated by Jeremy Renner. Uh, he hasn't responded to my emails yet, but we just know that that's the voice that we're going to need for a story that has this much, you know, grit. Um, and I know whenever he gets a chance to read it, that he'll be on board. So that's exciting. Um, but that's going to do it for today's episode. I'm absolutely wiped. Today took a lot out of me. So um, I'll see you guys next time. And uh, just remember, it's okay to take a break from running. It's okay to take a break from lifting. But don't you ever take a break from dreaming. Sweet dreams, guys. Love you. This channel is dedicated to providing you with workouts that give you <laughs> is dedicated to providing you with workouts to help you feel your best. Fucking shit. Look your best. Look your best. <sighs> Good. Because it's a crowded one out there today. And it's time for us to work in. Fucking real. Hold. I should have just kept going. <laughs> How are you supposed to do that? Hold that part. There always will be struggle. I mean, sometimes it's gonna be. Should be some decent footage. I was like, I wanna... one.